And then the flower shop man said to me, when is this story going to end? And I said to him, it will end when it ends, you know? And then something like that doesn't happen that often mm. because every... You know? Darling, I've got to ask you, what is up with your plea clothes? You look like someone died. Oh, well, uh, you know me. <laughs> Never has someone put so much effort into dressing with so little effect. If you like, you can go and buy me some shirts. Really? Yeah. You can uh, ask Merriman for the old credit card. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun, finally. Uh, where have you been? And who with? I've been very worried. I've had this most amazing time with the most amazing person. Oh, yes. But I was only gone for just one day. Relax, Chief. Why are you dressed like that? Go change your clothes. You look like someone's died. Well, someone did die, actually. Oh, oh no! Who? I'm afraid it's my brother. Dead? Quite dead. I trust your prophet on this lesson. My poor brother. He had many faults, but this... Well, this is a sad, sad blow. Well, that would be sad, but... I... He died abroad, you know. In Paris. <laughs> Bury him. I got this email last night from the hotel manager. Grand Hotel. Did you now? What did it say? He seems to have died from a severe chill. What do you know? <laughs> well, then I have some great news for you. Guess who's in the dining room right now? Cecily, this is not really No, it's one else but your own brother. Not nonsense. I don't have a brother. Don't be so harsh. I mean, he hasn't been on his best behavior all the time, but he's still your brother. Bloody Nora. Brother, I've come to tell you how you know, very sorry I am for all the trouble I've given you and that I intend to better myself in the future. Are you going to refuse his hand? Make it up to him. Nothing could make me take his hand. His coming here is a disgrace. He knows very well why. <sighs> Come on, be nice. I mean, there's good in everyone. He's been telling me about his invalid friend, Mr. Bunbury, the, that he goes to this so often. No! And he's been telling you about Bunbury, has he? I did expect a much rather warmer welcome, especially considering this is the first time I've come here. I've put your brother's luggage in the room next to yours. I suppose that is alright, sir. What? Yes. The three portmanteaus, a dressing case, two hat boxes, and a large luncheon basket. I'm afraid I can't stay longer than a week. If you don't shake his hand, I'll never forgive you. Never forgive me. Never, never, never. Could be worse. I could be carried off by a cold, it's dead in Paris, no less. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time I shall ever do it. <laughs> this was a Darjeeling elephant.